everybody, and welcome back for another Archon's Corner Sweet 16 Amber Rush game. Uh, we're in the final four now, and today uh, I'm Dr. Sheep, and I have Big Z with me. Hey, hey, semifinals time. Yeah, exciting stuff. Yeah, we got two good decks today uh, with good players. We have Nathan uh, running Bahamut Op Larissa Hafites, I guess. I have no idea how he's doing. Uh, we, of course, we went through all the decks pregame, and you've seen them in two rounds prior to now. It's Arise, Triple Control of the Week, Fast Logos, lots of incremental ping steel with damage and shadows, versus the legendary double vault winning gasoline, once pre nerf, once post nerf. Lots of that hard mixed with subtle control with the restroom guns to lock, very real threat all the time. And that huge LA turn that's bound to happen at some point. And what looks like a fairly mundane, untamed, generally pays big dividends as far as keeping the board controlled enough to set up his control. Um, so, yeah, like those are the two decks. Um, where, where do you fall on this matchup, Dan? Like this is, this is a tough one for me. Yeah, this is, uh, tough matchup. I mean, like, we saw Gasoline go up against Double Control the week and was able to deal with it. I'm trying yeah. to decide if the Triple Control the week... Ember the Ember Ups too, right? There's no Shadow Self or anything, so the Ember Ups are manageable um, fairly easily. Yeah, it does have that Charette Double Terror. That's yeah, something. Yeah, on the Arise. And mm -hmm. Gasoline isn't necessarily known for making a ton of Amber, so there's a chance that fires yeah um, yeah so it's interesting to see if those subtle levels of control are going to stick against the three control weeks it has its own two control the week so it really is i think it comes down to whoever like establishes their control dominance first um it could be very much who has the better draw because they are very similar working decks um I think Gasoline has that home run hit in the in the Russian Guntus that Bahamut doesn't really have. It does have like the if I string my control of the weeks together, I just win scenario that pretty much any deck with three control of the weeks has. Um, so this is hard. I I think I'm gonna I, I've been almost perfect with my bracket so far, so I'm gonna stick and trust and believe in my past self and go with my bracket pick, which has Bahamut. Um, I think Bahamut wins in three. I would be shocked if Gasoline got smoked in two games. Um, but I think I think it has enough incremental control. Uh, all of the houses... Uh, well, Logos and Shadows have quite a few answers, too. Yeah, to the rest uh, of the Guntus. The Guntus. There are no actual answers from hand in this, unless somehow Three Fates can hit Guntus, which is not likely. Um, so I, there are a lot of answers and then control the week itself is actually a, like a semi answer to Guntus just by not letting them do their thing. So yeah, I, I think I have Bahamut in three games. How about you, Dan? Where, where are you? From? Well, just you... I just, I want to be contrary. I really want to see gasoline go up against pink frog. Um, so I want gasoline to win two out of three. That's, that's what I want, but I don't know. I'm feeling Bahamut. It's just there's the double twin bolt, triple relentless is just so many Guntus answers. Um, yeah. And he does have a Nexus that, I mean, I know I had success with my Nexus against the Nepseed, right? That yeah. can happen. Um, but, I, but I was able to fire that off a speed signal when I was playing against Gasoline, where there is no speed signal. So it's a little bit weaker there. Because I think Rusty Guntus comes down and most likely calls Shadows. Yeah, for sure. I mean, there's just so much. Yeah. And yeah, then, I mean, like. Even the Silver Tooth was an answer there. So, like, yeah. And if he has to go into Logos to take him off and he's able to recur it right away, then, you know, he gets to put it right back out. Yeah. And I think that's where the lock could occur here. All right. Well,. I'm going to go ahead and give him the go-ahead. Okay. Let's get started.
and see who's right. One of us has accurately predicted the winner. <laughs> Maybe not in the number of games, but we will see. All right, looks like we have Bahamut on the top as first player. He's got I think his I telega start there. We saw. Three I think games on top, I keep that hand. I think I keep Tentacus land it, and then go for a big early logo turn. I think on the bottom I keep that too. You're looking at 3-3. Three, three, you're going to set up the rest of the game. Yeah. They think they both have good starting hand. I know George likes to start with Telega. That's often, yeah, I mean, you know, it's great when it's his first turn and gets to play it. I think looking at his deck, Telega is probably the best card in deck for turn one. Maybe Sloppy Work. Sloppy Lab Work has an argument. Oh, he goes Logos. Well, I think he wants to land archiving answers early, though. That does surprise me somewhat. I definitely land Tentacus first and go for the big Logos turn if that were me. And there's no surprise but, there. We're getting. I mean, the like this is now a better Logos turn, though. Outside of you still have Tentacus in hand, but now you're going to reap and archive it. So arguably, if we will phase shift an into three fates and kill everything, right? Like that's got to be the first, or just go te uh, go dis and Tentacus. Uh, three fates and then Tentacus. Well, I was going to say Logos for sure, and I think you actually play the Tentacus and you archive the three fates. Uh, Maybe. That's, that's, I think you that's gotta tough. kill Telega here. Like, Yeah, I guess in this situation, you, you get to board. read archive and then three fates the bard away. That's, that is pretty good. Surprised he went okay. to Wild Wormhole first because he could have landed a creature making the three fates worse. True. We're both assuming that it's three fates, though. Like, this, I think it's three fates. True. I think I'm archiving routine job here. I, uh, yeah, I'm probably archiving routine, routine job and hit landing the three fates. I know that kind of is anti to what a normal. Although you did call earlier to go ahead and archive three fates, but I, I think I, I killed Telegram for sure. I guess he's calculating his chance to draw another damage card next turn to then kill said Telega. Alright, so there's he does he goes he does go ahead and give him Amber and um and he hit the twin bolt. Yeah, you know, so. Interesting. Yeah, Neurosiphon. That's always so sad to see that. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Now, he just played Logos, so does he put him on Logos again? I would think so here. The math does dictate. We talked about, we talked about Control of the Week a lot in this tournament. Um, yep. this is where it bites you. There's no way he could have known that that is the bad call. Obviously, uh, yeah. it is the perfect call because, uh, well, the uh, Neurosiphon is the worst call, dead. Neurosiphon's dead a lot. It's a sad card most of the time. Uh, and this is a, probably a discard Dexter. Yep. And he's set with a good hand because he got put on the house that he was calling. So we've seen one completely dead. Uh, gasoline control the week, and I don't think that can be an afforded situation. Um, hmm. It could have been real bad for uh, Nathan had uh, he drawn into the Guntus, though, but luckily for so Nathan, he did not. Does, does George now just put out the on tame creature setting up for the ritual balance control the next turn? Or does he turn everything? The yeah, he's gonna I don't know. Him. George does play. Oh, so he's not. So George does play for library access sometimes. He's not in this case. Um, I'm kind of surprised because Skippy literally has no value on this turn, and he normally wants high, high value out of Skippy. Either does Fogify. What did Wild Rumble hit? Oh, Wild Rumble. Never mind. Wild Rumble hit Skippy, so that sucks. Um. That's a long ongoing joke between Nathan and me. I personally hate World Wormhole. He loves it. Uh, I hate it because of stuff like this. Skippy is one of the best cards in George's deck. He knows this. It's won him many games. Um, 
because it's that like weird soft control that makes gasoline so good. And Skippy's a big part of that. Um, and why won't we'll just kind of nerf that out of Ooh. the world? And now we just drew a bunch more logos with no library access. I, I mean, this is not the route yeah. um, Gasoline wants to see at all. And they're going to see a big steel turn. We know Gasoline does not have high-end steel. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to see a 8-3 huge swing. And George is not on a hand that is good for anything. Absolutely you, nothing. Do you take the archive back, go ritual hunting witch guy? I don't know. What I, 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 <laughs> I don't know either. He's doing what I think I would do. You just dump logos, hoping to draw into something. Um, knowing you're in a bad situation, I think your only out here is a Guntus win. Because of the scenario that you're in right now, um, and to do that, you got to turn cards. Actually, if he hit Guntus right now and called out Shadows, he'd be in a decent situation. Okay, well, he's building so, up a real good on Tame turn finally. So Nathan just goes straight back to Shadows, right? Yeah. You have great fight. What? Yeah, you you have bait will hit for one, which is better than average on you know, you steal with the dodger. Oh no, no, he's not doing that. I say lights out for nothing. Arise gonna be a discard today. Uh yeah, unless he goes for Tentacus. I guess there could be value in grabbing Tentacus with Ritual of Balance and Library of Battle on, on board. Yep. That is. Probably worth a single chain. He, yeah, there's no reason to grab three fates. He's debating about the rise now. I, he huh? discarded it. You have your big untamed. You get a lot of amber off that turn, but don't think it changes the game state much, right? You're going to get three, four, five, and land seed. Yeah, not even actually enough to get to check. No. Well, it's because he just took it all, and he has nothing that will affect. Like, I still would have really liked to have Tentacus in play right now, but anyway. <laughs> he used it just to use it. I have this card. I can use it. Seems like a decent Shadows turn here. Or do you yeah, play shadow, the Amber? I, I think I go Shadows. Dodger kills the Hunting Witch. He lights out the two bears. Or the Dexter just to be a jerk. But you haven't seen LA, so Dexter's probably a bad idea. Um, and you want to minimize creatures per house on board. So I definitely take them down to just a Pixie and a Dexter on board. Again, that yeah, knowing no that probably... Bobble on board's hurting a little bit right now for George, because he wants to go into this probably this next turn and can't. Oh, uh, yeah. He's still going to be at seven, so... I'm expecting there's the lights out. The two bears is my call. Yep, that's what he's doing. You land the Nexus to force him to use seed next turn. He's not going to want to. And he's back in check. Which will hold. I guess there is a scenario where, and I don't think you would do this to take just take him off check, but he could bring back the Mermook with seed. If you bring back anything with seed, you're gonna bring back your hunting whip. If you go unchanged. I mean, he's losing board right now, so I wonder if it isn't still into this and you bring back the three fates. 
to mm, get. Going into this, you can actually get to check on this as well because after playing the three fates and the Schuler and the Pro Week, you'll have six. Well, you I definitely mean, have you to play use, the seed this turn. If you take the three fates, you're going to go Dodger, Terror, Charette, which. Oh, yeah. Question is, is right now, like, there is no good control of the weak call because he has no idea what's in hand. His play has been fairly neutral. Like, you can't put disc because he's only done four total discards. Yeah. So you think about going Logos again, right? Because you're like, okay. Logos. He hasn't played Logos in a while, though. I mean, like, the math, based on what you're seeing in this discard, unfortunately, is Shadows. But obviously, his Shadows board is live right now. Because yeah. his Nexus would get a steal because of your ritual. <laughs> like, it's real bad. Like, this is one of those scenarios where if you go Dis, George knows that there is no good control of the weak call. Like, he knows that. Um, It's just, it is... See, I think I probably might have gone Untamed here. There's the three fates. Um, I think he does put them into this. Because he's going to kill both this creatures. I think you put them on Logos. And it's not great. Because you expect him to have a big... He could have a, a lot of discs in his hand, too. With the way his discard's been. I think um, we're going to see... Oh, no, he does go discs. All right. Which, in this case, does turn out to be the best call for him. Except he has no good Interesting. to uh, Ember Imp if he has to play on Tamed, which he probably will. It's an interesting well, call here. That's right, and he had the Archive Three Fates. Which unfortunately kills his own next two, right? Yeah. This is an interesting control that we call. Because... You know he has two bears in hand. Yeah, you know most of his hand comp because you made his hand. So you don't actually want to put him back in Untamed. Because you want to starve his hand. Even if he drew LA, the LA is going to suck. So Logos is, based on the, the hand that you know, is probably a good call. But from what we know, this is solid. Yeah, but the only thing in Untamed, I guess, it the only thing that can kill an Ember Imp in Untamed is if he has to save the pack. And then he has yeah. to sack his Dust Imp, which isn't yeah. Yeah, well, he isn't going to care about that. But. Well, even then, I would consider that a win. If you're going to take a chain, do that to kill the Imp, that's fine. I, could, I have another Imp somewhere. <laughs> like. and because he has a Dust Imp on board, you don't put him into Dis. I mean, I think I would probably put him in Untamed if it was me. I mean, he's a whole key behind. Yeah, he'll have a key and three. I think I do go dis. At this point, looking at my hand, not worried about Guntus. Because dis doesn't have any of the... Um, he's already seen both Control of the Weeks, right? Yes. Yeah. My opponent's seen both Control of the Weeks. No matter what he plays, I can answer Guntus next turn. Um, I, I'm safe with calling Disc here. Nathan's saying in chat, I don't know how well it comes up. It's a tough choice. He yeah. does decide to go Untamed, which in the end is a fairly good call. Because, I mean, I think one of these cards gets discarded no matter what here. He's not going to hold either the, any of these. So he's going to discard, what, one bear? Play one bear, play Fog Bank, and Reap? Not a whole lot of choice there. Two bears and a pitch on a fog bank. He discarded fog bank and played the bears. Hmm. I think I go for the amber there. I don't know. That's weird. I I don't know if it matters, but I I normally go for the amber. That's there. why I think I don't I don't know if it matters. There's the Guntus. Which actually, like, could land and do sort of good things. Except, interesting. Except that urchin. Yeah. Alright, but oh, he's going to see he it. He knows it. <laughs> so does he hold the 
twin bolt now. Do you, uh... How does he hold the twin bolt? That is an interesting question. He's already, yeah, because he's already gone through his phase shift, well, so I he think, can't... I think he still says, well, I guess the issue with... I think he's going to twin bolt still to kill that dust imp, because he knows if he does play dis, he has no way to kill the ember imp then. True. So you kill the dust imp, and then you actually play the stupid Dexter to take him back off key. He does it. He... And yeah... You play the Dexter. What do you put on Rocket Boots here? Like Psychic Bug, maybe? Oh, uh, the Dexter. Just the. Yeah, uh, I, I don't think it matters really at all. Well, you don't put it because you know he has Twin Bolt, which is about to come out, I bet. Because now I think he has to go low ghost. Yeah, this is weird, uh, but yeah, I do agree. I think it has to be Logos here. Then, do you leave the... I think you kill the Urchin and the Ember Imp. Urchin and the Ember Imp? Yeah. So you no, know he's running out of Logos now. Yeah, there's only like two Logos left in deck, so... It's unlikely he wants to go back to Logos, even with a Rocket Boots for 3 re. He has another Rocket Boots in the hand, so oddly enough, he could reap for 4 with 2 creatures, but uh, your opponent doesn't know that. <laughs> Double Rocket Boots is I mean, I don't, I don't see... No, he's not going to call Logos, so I'm just saying it's... route? I mean, like, the, the only way I see this going... I, I don't see how it goes. As I said, the only way I see this going. I mean, if George he goes logos, Library of Babel could draw LA first. That could be something. It's down to oh, it draws cards. phase shift. Oh wow. That's still not the draw though. It doesn't get him to So yeah, now he can resty this turn though, and that's Yeah. Resting this turn after killing Ember Imp and Urchin is interesting. That could change some stuff. I mean, four cards, two of them are uh, Relentless Whispers. Yeah, are like out of the six in hand and four in deck. There's oh, there's only one Relentless Whispers. Hmm, that's interesting. That's uh. And you could gamble that the one Relentless Whispers is in the draw pile and leave them with Shadows live after you kill the Urchin? I don't know if this changes what we said. Yeah, like he's going with what we said. And then the thing is, do you gun test what's on board? Or do you gun test like this? you know your opponent does not want to go back to Logos. At least you assume this. Because they just played Logos, what, twice? Nathan is saying... I guess he hasn't... Nathan's saying nice draw because Nathan knew his hand. He's, he now knows that he drew face ship. Of course, library access would have been pretty hot. Uh, well, because then you probably would hit your face shift too, and all of this would have been super. Yeah. A little more creature control. Like, I mean, that may be. Yeah. I don't know. It could interesting be here. Just putting the shackles. Is he considering. Yeah, is he considering not landing Guntus? I think well, if he's he does. He's got to calculate that control of the weak is there. Yeah, yeah. Because there's four. De like, he knows he only has four cards left in his deck. And he's only played one Control of the Week. So yes, <laughs> there's a super high chance he has one, if not both, Control of the Weeks in hand. Um, or does he put the Dominator Bobble down so, like, in theory, mm. next turn he can actually try to get the board control he knows he needs to, 
to knock him out of shadows. I think this, this the calculus going on in George's mind here is definitely like Guntus type stuff because um, of the tanking of the round. Um, the turn. I really think it is going through because you know we're on the cru- <laughs> so you can look at the deck list, you can look at this card pile, you can see the draw card only has four. He's probably whittling down what these ten cards are. Also, There's the Guntus. He's he knows the ten cards. He's probably ignoring Logos and going to call Shadows or Dis, and we're gonna see which it is. Interestingly enough, though, here there's a good chance that. Nathan just reaps for four in logos. <laughs> because George does not have big amber control answers. Exactly. Because I doubt the skull is logos. So how we feel about this game? Did George, you know, didn't get a library access turn off? Yeah. Um, okay, here's the disc call. Um, so I fully expect this to be reap for four. Or I mean, I guess he could steal three and get one off. Of oh yeah, so this Whispers, is a shadow's turn, is... and he kills Guntus. So yeah, this is just this oh, is a wow. shadow. He could kill Guntus and reap for three too, right? I mean, it's yeah. Well, I mean, he gets options. he gets four amber and shadows, and he kills Dun- uh, Guntus and takes him. So I think shadows is the call here. Guntus is removed. Uh, your opponent literally has no amber control that's going to move you from eight to six left. I think. Don't well, think. There, I mean, yeah. two shaffles, right, are in the deck. I think one's dead, right? Oh yeah, you were right. One's dead. Yep. So one shaffles, one. I mean, a shaffles, and I think Schuler is also dead. Yeah, like there. I don't think there's anything that's outside of like bonkers LA turns, which I've seen George do, um, is going to remove you off check. And in most of those bonkers turns, Dexter is not on the field already. So, so as long as Nathan chooses to go to eight through one of the two options, that should be a wrap. Hmm. There are neither of the cards in the draw pile are logos, so he can't shuffle the deck on a library access turn right now. Well, yeah, he can because of quick sell. So he could potentially go for draw some it. silly library access roll. Thing, but I still don't know where. Yeah, well, he, we, we saw the key. shadows turn. The shadows turn is what we expect. He goes to eight. His opponent's at three. That should be this game. So I think what we saw here is that even though there was no speed signal, like yep. necklace did work. Like Here's the that. fact that George had to pop C on the turn that he did allowed a lot of the stuff that he's able to do with this deck sometimes not come to fruition. Well, putting Dexter on top of the deck, so on the library axis, that's going to be there. Yeah, because he can draw it with Library of Babel, pop his library access. It only goes back to what you were saying. He's going to get so few draws. Well, I mean, he shuffles the deck here. So, in a really silly world, but I I mean, like, fake yeah, shift. Yeah, no, didn't get it. What? <laughs> I've seen him do, well, Wild Rommel is, like, Wild Rommel and fake shift have to be part of this process. Yeah. But crazy as it is, I've seen him do this. <laughs> like, a good friend of mine. Uh, great game, guys. All right. So, we'll jump out of this, and they can make a new game. Alright. Oh, there's one to bomb it. So I haven't seen one pop up. There we are. Um, George is stating he would like to play first. So let's see if we get lucky. Uh, 
It's interesting. A, a, fir- a wanting to go first call, huh? Yeah, he wants to land that Telega. <laughs> well, first turn Gunthus. <laughs> no, I don't think George would be playing for that, but it's funny sometimes. Would Nathan hold a 6-1 or a 6 or 7 card hand? Mm -hmm. On just the possibility of a first turn Guntis. I mean, I've had this conversation with people on team. Like, I know I do. Um, I I guess in this situation, because it's only game two, I could see that coming into my mind on a game three where I'd be like, I don't want to lose this on turn one to something silly. Yeah. I, I, I guess that does change the... I, I don't know. If it's me, I, I... It depends on the house, though, right? Like, I guess if... I, I don't know. I, I, I probably keep... Even if it's mono house and I'm going to get someone with Gunthus. Like, the odds are so freaking low. Um... All right, I think this should be starting. I guess there's a little fusion. Let's see. Nope. Oh, nope. Remake. Jump over on the TCO. Get because up. we need a way to change starting player. Or not kick on rematch would be equal. It used to keep us. It used to actually be like iffy whether you would stay or not. But recently, every time they've done that, it just kicked us straight out. Nope. Ah, uh, exciting commentary here. We yes, watch we are them watching start another game. We are watching the coin flips over and over and over again. Hopefully, Wookie has some editing magic to do about that. Oh, their crucible win stats are going to hack. Oh, whatever. No one cares. <laughs> it's not tracker. No one cares. I suppose I should or- watch this game and not join it. Yay! We got it! All right, George. That's not a great hand, actually. Ah, uh, George it's, is uh, well. It's, a- it's one three three, and normally that's something you'd like to see, but I doubt with George is happy with that. Triple. Now triple Nathan's hand was double twin bolt. I don't think you do a single hunting witch start. It seems too likely to get cracked. Oddly enough here, he doesn't have an answer, answer to Hunting Witch, which is funny. Right, but I fine. think that's in my calculation. Like, Yeah, but... I... He's keeping. Oh, he's he is going. Go- Nice. It's like he has secret information now. No, <laughs> um, but that makes this call very hard. I mean, like, right? No, you still just 
Nexus Dodger. Oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. My brain was going to Telega. Obviously, this is still... Yeah. Yes, you lose the two steel. One, you'll get value with back later, because you'll get the two on the next routine job. You're really just losing two steel, but you're building forward. Um, yeah. Okay. Making the control weak call a little bit harder if they have it. I'm sure it's a dis turn. Knocking him off of... Putting him into dis, right? Because he has nothing to kill that hunting witch then. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Or at least knocking him out of shadows. Or yeah, no, control the week's pick. So I would think dis, but... Yeah, because the double twin bolt, right? Yep. There it is. Like, this witch is potentially and there we go. game just winning. Had library access, Woo! phase shift, wild wormhole. And the witch will be live through all of it. Oh. Oh, but... Oh, but Embrim's coming down. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that is sad. Like, <laughs> this was about to be a game-winning turn. Because I don't think there's anything in deck unless... Because you can't a wild wormhole and just Hope fail, it. right? Yeah, because like, then your turn's you dead. What do here? This went from, like, George possibly winning to Ember Imp just stepping on your throat with what was about to be, like, I mean, bonkers it's, turn. It's still not that bad. I, I think you see a dis turn. The Dust Imp sacks into something, which lets the Guardian Demon then move that two damage to something else. Um, and you put the Dominator Bobble down. The Ember Imp's gone. The only fear I think he has now is if he gets Control of the Week back into Dis, right? If he calls Dis now, he opens himself for a Control of the Week. Yeah, Dis but run. like, you don't want... <sighs> Interesting. Because what Grekin could take Hunting Witch. He could kill his own Hunting Witch with his Guardian Demon. Like, if that That's was true. a super big concern... Was the Amber Imp. Okay. So yeah, he resolved the Nexus problem because that was a big problem from last game. But now, okay. now he's got a. Now problem. Nathan has a hell of a shadows turn. Yeah. Well, you know, it's how it goes, right? I mean, yeah. but now we're returning back to this. What could be an absolutely monster? I'm sure it's still going to be a bonkers logos turn, but like that logos turn with. Hunting with Taunt Line. It was going to be like, okay, next game. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah. Ember saved his life. Yeah, that was... Yeah, 8, eight Ember, 0. Uh, I think all this Logos turn is going to... Actually, it can do a lot, depending on what he draws, because of the phase shift. So let's see. Let's see that, what happens. All right, face shifts live. He draws dust him. Dexter comes on board. Draws a bear. That's not value. Quick so draws Schuler. Okay, that could be a thing. Yeah, this isn't going probably the way he wants yet. Wild Wormhole, you're going to get two cards here. Bogify's pretty high. Oh, he though. played three fates. That was real good. That kills a big threat to you. Like, that was. A really good wild worm hit. Um, and he got Fogify. I think he probably I don't know, was this a potential to want to draw to Guntus with Face Shift Live? I don't know. Maybe. I think Schuler comes down here. Maybe Shaffles. Probably Schuler to have a bigger body on the field when you call this next. Or the Nepseed. Yeah, there is no more Nexus to worry about. These decks are going pretty fast, so there might be like... Yeah, there's the Shuler. There might be some instance uh, fairly low value Skippy. Almost, actually, zero value Skippy's not going. 
Um, yeah, I think the three fates was big, but I've definitely seen that logo's turn be a lot more crazy. Double control the week, so I imagine we see the. I think we see logos here to get the pop on Neuro. Yeah, well, getting value out of right, Neuro yeah. is pretty big. Because you could put him back into Logos, but with three creatures on board, that isn't really great. No, and he just a drew a bunch of cards. You don't actually want to control the weak into anything right now. Um, well, but he's going to. Oh, okay. yeah. There's Logos. So he's giving him the three Amber, knowing he doesn't have... Like, anytime someone finishes the LA turn, you know they don't have any Logos. Um, I just... Don't know if that's what I would have done. Huh? He even drew a logos card off of the oh. <laughs> quick so hit. Sure. Trace give you for that. Yeah, because it George... puts a bad check now. Yeah, and George does normally cycle his deck, so getting Skippy to make sure he's in the discard. Okay. Shaffles are <laughs> or a mushroom man, just so he's not in hand. <laughs> I think Nathan missed that he drew a card from the quick throw. Yeah. He's like, how is that even in your hand? Oh, he got it. All right, quick throw. Yeah, yeah got a lucky lucky draw. Okay, archive shuffle, discard. Yep, because it's his amber. Man. I've seen him discard Mushroom Man many times. <laughs> Here's the funny one. Neurosiphon to take off key. That doesn't happen, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Although he has, like, no logos in his discard. So there's a chance he goes Shadows here. And just puts the two logos cards back in his hand. Knowing that for sure, he's definitely not going logos next turn. That routine job is a steal, too, because the first one got discarded on his first turn. If he does, though, then you probably see... Oh, he can go to check in Shadows. Oh, I would have gone Shadows. This Twin Bolt does nothing. Like This is because I, I think... Not, not only does the Twin Bolt do nothing, he now gets to play Restiguntus calling Shadows, and there's, like, no answers, right? Very few answers, unless he redraws Twin Bolt. He has another Twin Bolt in deck. Right. Somewhere. But he's only going to get two draws at it, unless he holds Twin Bolt here. I can't see that happening, but... Yeah, I think Shadow should have been the call. He would have been going to check. And the Logos okay, cards... Clogging up his hand. George would have been back in hand. And Nathan loves to do that. Like, lights out, nature's call, aggressive, like, offensive nature call. It's like some of Nathan's favorite thing. So that was interesting. I guess, I mean, taking him off check is something. But yeah, he would have done it in Shadow's. So, yeah. just a rocket boot. So, I think we'll see the shaffles, whatever, whatever, no more shadows. Like the, I think the worst thing he could do right now is try to set up the Nepseed for safety. Because then that leaves a Yeah, good I mean, obviously, turn. with the knowledge that we have, yeah. if this is the answer. I think it is no matter what, because, yeah. like, that the Bobble can draw another card, too, because Quick's open to fight into Urchin.
Or that could just be a reap. And the control of the weak is going to be essentially dead. He's going to have good options no matter... Alright, he did not draw this card. What are the odds that George misses the Shadow's Call? I will... I will eat my shoe. <laughs> okay. Cause he, oh yeah, his, he's actually already played two Control of the Weeks, so... Yep. It's weird how George, like I've seen Gasoline so many times be in this situation. He is clearly advantaged to win this game, but he's literally down a full key. Yeah. What, you control the weak and the logos? Yeah, I mean, you can see the purge card, you can see the discards full of logos, you see the two on the board, quick so can't draw, you have no creatures. It's definitely logos, and you are... Okay, this, I guess. I would have thought it would have been logos, but... Oh, we drew the three fates, which... Doesn't do yeah. much. Definitely disagree with calling this. Because you got Bobble, I mean, that's guaranteeing him five in a turn. Versus two. But very little out of hand. Which is what happened. Ugh. Eh. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Yep, yeah, this is what Gunsis does, folks. So you've seen it already, and you're seeing it again. And why did this happen? Because Nathan didn't call shadows that... <laughs> <laughs> like, is what it is, guys. Is what it is. Yep, he conceded. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Down to game three. Now, does Nathan want first or second? We're seeing. Nathan doesn't seem to care whether it goes first or second. The will he of says, the crucible. The will of the crucible that will decide. Um, I think. It looks like George wants to get some water. Maybe he's nervous. Oh, no. All right. Well, one of us is perfect in their prediction. I don't know if calling shadows that turn would have drastically changed the outcome of the game, but I think it would have significantly changed the outcome because of the when you're playing control of the weak, like against Guntus control of the weak decks, you have to constantly be bouncing house to house. Um, it's highly advantageous to play max cards. He would have kept Twin Bolt in hand. Um, and you would have gone to check that turn. There's a lot of reasons why I think Shadows was to call that turn. We'll see. Yeah, the thing with Guntus is even you can try to handcraft to deal with Guntus, and then the Will the Crucible will mm. just take it from you anyways. Yes. All right, we're back in games. Uh, they've got the decks and final match of the semifinals, and then we will know our finalists. Uh, looks like George picked the wrong deck. Yes, how to change decks. We've had many matches choose the wrong deck and get into the game.
All right. We're in. And who's going first? Oh, the Crucible gives it to <laughs> a turn one Restaguntus. <laughs> I don't know if he does it. I don't. And it would be do. bad here. For some I, I feel that he mulls this. Um, I was joking about it earlier. I don't think George goes for that. No, uh, if either. he does, there's no right answer here. But there's a bunch of hands because even three fates is online in this situation. Uh, he, he is, is going for it. That's a bad call, my friend. Uh, I I definitely mull here. Um, in one way, he kind of hit it right in that he's wasting those uh, relentless whispers. Sure, if he plays both of them, I'm yeah, sure. he does. Um, yeah, that's. I mean, Seed can always bring Guntus back. That's true. Yeah. So we'll see how this plays it out. Five, even his un- six, seven, <clears throat> seven. Even this hand untamed hand, hand is not that great. Like, if Hunting, which was in hand, um, that would be different. I mean, if this sticks for a while, that's fine. But, like, I doubt he's even going back to it next turn. So divide it up. Yep. Gets a bunch of amber. And this is what? Control the week back into logos. Yeah, that would be strong. Probably they take the two damage off of Mermook, put it onto the bear. Or move the two damage from the bear to the Mermook so you choose to just lose that. I definitely keep the murmur. Uh, yep, all on one bear. Big four early. Bahamut doesn't like that. And you're going to basically get a turn skip. I guess I'll kill one bear. Still think you go back into Untamed. That's one, two. It's only three amber, though. So that's not check. Yeah, it sounds like Nathan had to get grab his door for a second. But yes, like I expect this fully to be play Dexter, kill bear. Go back into the team, land witch, reap twice. And Shaffles keeps on. Does he out. actually play Dexter this time, or has he put Dexter in the Dexter hole? Uh, I've definitely seen Nathan discard Dexters before. It's not a partic- It's not taking him off key right now. The Guntus is dead, so yeah, you probably do discard Guntus. If Guntus is still a possibility, you probably keep him. Yeah, so the Nepsi could just come down this next turn and then. Well, even if the Nepsi was coming down this turn, the bear would kill Dexter, and then you get screwed. You probably discard Dexter. There's too much stuff on board that'll just kill him. And then, yeah, make you have to play him again. He cannot afford the that kind of time loss here. Amber Imps in hand. Yep, here's the turn we thought we would see. It's pretty hard. Another pretty tough control of weak call coming up. I don't think so. I think it's pretty easily Logos, because outside of Twin Bolt, although he well, could have a your giant opponent Logos has, hand. Yeah, his, your opponent hasn't called Logos at all in LA's in deck. I, I don't think Nathan can afford to call Logos. I think he probably calls Dis. Even though that's also going to be bad for him. <laughs> Nathan not liking his... Ch- not liking. Hmm. 
So oddly enough, the right call is Logos, and that's what he goes with. Um, yeah, I think I would have been busted there. I think I would have, and he's not even going to get to play all three of them because of Embro. Yeah, what do you think? It's I think Skippy. I think he definitely plays Skippy. Um, maybe Fogify. Oh, if he plays Skippy, he doesn't need to Fogify, so he yeah. might do F- Skippy Library. Try because that's better for the library access turn later. Or he could Fogify and not play Skippy. Yeah, he, he loves Skippy. He's playing Skippy. Which would have put him on check. So, that's an He's on check it anyway. Because of the hunting oh, yeah. witch. Still alive. Yeah, hunting witch. Man, that hunting witch. So much work for that hunting witch. And it's still going to live at the end of the turn. Because Skippy. Well, I, I think you're going to see shadows. What? You lights out the hunting witch? Typically doesn't do a lot. Yeah, but it's the only thing you got that takes them off check. Or do you reap for three and play a terror? You can't reap. Skippy. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, like, Just why would you do anything turn up. besides play no, shadows? I agree that he goes shadows, I think. Yeah, I mean, you've got to target the hunting witch, or else anything else is just giving him amber. Uh, there's another discard. So hunting witch and minimize untamebor shaffles. No, because then he gets amber. amber. Yeah, hunting witch shaffles can't target Skippy. Which I guess he doesn't see in hand means Schuler then gets to steal. Yep. Well, Schuler Schuler would steal him. Well, not if Shaffle stays on the board. Oh, if he's going on team next. Yeah. Either way, you're landing your seed next to him. You think so? Three fates right now is pretty good killing Big Twig, Grecking. Oh, Grecking and Tentacus. That's true. And then you're getting your bobble down. You're going to steal one with the Schuler. I think the Shaffles is going to be in hand. And then the Ember Imp dies to Guardian Demon who moves the damage over to Urchin. So he cleans the board. Mm-hmm. Or, okay, so that's interesting. Uh, Hunting Witch and Guardian Demon. Now it's clear. That does mean if he goes into Dis, he would have to trade Shaffles to kill Ember. Right? Yep. So I guess feast. that makes it a decent on team turn because he gets to lock down Grecky. He already he already chose this. I just don't know if he saw that that trade would have to happen before choosing this. I think that's a miss. I think I would have had to go back to Untame here to clear the Emberm first. There's the trade. Probably didn't want to do that though. Refate says what you said. There's the two versus the one. Okay, two 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 ham, but wild wormhole phase shift. <laughs> Just go for phase shift and the bait and switch to steal two. Yeah. Wild wormhole determines whether the turn sucked or not. I don't he know. does actually like he did build himself a pretty good arise turn. Right? Yes. When he does get to that. But like, only if his opponent's slow so you can hit the terror. Oh no, he doesn't even have terror. Oh, he's here in hand. He doesn't have Shrek, though. He doesn't have Shrek yet. He definitely needs to clear some some space in his hand. Wild Worm will play Psychic Plug. That's always value. Oh, he should have phase shift Fade and Switch first. I didn't expect to hit an Amber card, but that, yeah. The- Unless phase shift is not going to be bait and switch here, which I guess there's an argument that phase shift could be nexus. Yeah, well, but 
phase shift if he or if he would have phase shift bait and switch, he would have taken him off key. Now he doesn't take him off key. So yep. would, I think that was a whiff. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. There. You think he's hesitating right now because he realizes what he was, what his miss was. Uh, but it's definitely phase shift shadows card, and I think it's going to have to be Nexus now. You still have the possibility of drawing into Shred next turn, so I would not get rid of but Terror. You definitely not with the point. Nexus. Well, I suppose because I mean because the barrel just kill it. Bear save the pack kills it. I mean that's still denying them some amounts of amber and a chain. Terror? What? I guess you could still Sometimes arrive them. You, you make a mistake and you... I mean, the thought there is if you're going into this, you can arise the terror. After killing them with the bear or whatever. Sure. Uh, so this is clearly going to be our untamed turn. Because we still haven't seen LA. He's got the perfect two cards for his LA combo. <coughs> I think save the pack just gets pitched. Yep. Mushroom Man gets value. I, this could just be reaping twice. Yeah, there isn't that much value in killing the bug. The only, the only reason you kill the bug is because you know there's control of the weeks and you don't want them to know what you got going on, but... Yep, he knows L.A. is still in that deck. He's getting down. Yep, there's the double reap. Just push. You know you have advantage. You already have the control deck. So just keep pushing. That's that's what the Keyforged math says. In shadows, play a dead bait and switch now. Routine job does work. Silvertooth can kill hunting witch, that's something. I still I definitely would not be surprised to see double dust imp turn here. Into Restaguntus. I could see that too. But he can kill him in every house though. Not once he kills something with the ancient bear. Or it's still, it's still something. Two house and then the guardian demon fights into the bug. Then gets to move the damage off the guardian demon to kill the urchin. Like the way George typically gets to play this. He will do a pretty good job of cleaning the board up. Yes, he's very good at that. I I still think... But there is a Relentless Whispers left in that deck. And that's a problem. I still think we're about to see a LA turn. Or not LA turn, but a, a Locos turn. So you can still draw LA with Library. Not that that's a high chance. Last time we drew that face shape. <laughs> I say this. That is a spectacular dis turn that Nathan's going to turn Oh, uh, but if he gets locked out of this, this could be another yeah. Guntus win. Well, Twin Bolt's there, so it's not going to be a Guntus win. But. It's going to be a near win, my friend, because that means it's a, like a full turn skip when you're already a key down. The bear is going to be activated to kill the Nexus. Doesn't kill the Nexus. It does not kill the Nexus. Oh, but the Guardian Demon will be able to kill it. Mm. 
<clears throat> yep, we're going to see the disc call here. That's why I left that guy alive. And then he has a chance to draw LA again. Technically three draws because of LA, uh, Library of Babel. Four draws, sort of, because Wild Wormhole's there. Well, there's the library access. Oh, so. God. And there we go. This might have just gone Bonkers. two to one. Gasoline. Does he heal Skippy knowing that he's going to call LA next turn to just remove a reap? Which actually is a steal in this case. I mean, yeah, what else would you kill? You're not going to kill a dust imp. You can kill Schuler. Oh, he's going to do that anyway. He's off Exploiter. Oh, true. This, then, yeah, it should be Skippy and Guntus. Keeps that Dimension Door from stealing one. Well, he doesn't know that, but, like, well, either way, he knows you're looking it's at... In that deck. I'm looking at a Reap 1 there. That's what I'm looking at in my decision-making. Yes, Guntus, Skippy. I see. I can see George's. George has a happy dance, which he wouldn't do in real play, but I could see him doing it right now with that hand he's got. Yeah, because. All right, let's see. One, two, seven, eight. He has four more Logos cards he can draw into. Yeah, there it is. Skippy and Guntus are dead. Chuler's dead. And. Time to see Bonkers turn. Go Bonkers. So he knows he's got a monstrous dishand, right? And he played yeah. one stinking on or one Logos card. So he's going to face shift control the weak Logos here. Yeah. Ugh. So that's another dead turn. Yeah. This didn't even need to be a like a crazy LA turn. Just having face shift control the week right now is is enough. Well, actually, without face shift, just control the week with his board would have been better. Yep. <laughs> Nathan, exciting! The dimension door didn't get its steal. Of course. Wow. Deathless. Why not? And he's going to shuffle. <laughs> Two twin pull both your dust dumps. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you don't want to draw them. Well, you just play it as your last guard. Yeah. Or post shuffle. Nope. Plays it now. But she chooses to draw first. I think I just kill him. Go to twelve. No, he didn't. Probably discards a hand of dis, maybe. Yeah. Oh, redrew the phase shift. Ah, uh, library access. Uh, it used to be a little bit better, my friend. Yeah, <laughs> you mean the game used to be a little bit worse? No. Oh, oh. Because yes, he would be Nepsied looping silliness right now. Yeah. And then we would just be like, all right, well, we'll come back in 10 minutes. It doesn't take that long online once you get practice. There it is. I imagine there would be a concession soon. Because he now has his other control that we can hand. Game is over. 
And this is what I saw happen in live play in the top eight out of vault. Almost exactly this. <laughs> so we we have it. It's gonna be two two vault tour winning decks going at it. Yeah, they're so gonna finish up here. There's and a it's reason gonna be... they have one vault tours. Yes, gasoline versus pink fraud. Uh, George and Dunkoro, both double vault winners with the same deck. Nathan, uh, who is losing this match, has won two vaults. One with Bahamut that he's playing, and one with a sealed deck. But he also let Which, Bahamut go, right? Like, he doesn't own that yeah, one anymore? Yeah, he sold Bahamut for a large amount. Um, I, I mean, our it, friends in the Philippines. Yep, and it went quite far here, so, like, it's definitely... Yeah, Still a yeah. very, very it's good deck. Very strong. Um, I think it could have actually won, or at least had a good shot at winning match two. Um, but yeah, this this was get rag time. This is gasoline full mode gas. This is what happens. My bracket is officially busted. My finals is not going to be right. Uh, so... Yeah. We'll see join if they call. join the call here. Then yeah, get some uh, feedback. Hey, man. You there? Hello? Working on those audio connections. Hello, George. Hello? They're in our chat, but I don't hear them talk. Hey, can you guys hear me? Yes, yes, we got you. Uh, I can hear you now, too. Awesome. Talk to us. How did that go? Obviously, we know the results. What's... Yeah, I mean, I think that that went fine. I mean, I think that um, it's interesting. I was actually just um, bad-mouthing gasoline like a couple days ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> Uh, George hears this a lot. Um, I'm pro gasoline uh, for a while now, but yes, he. I'm sure he's heard it quite a bit. Uh, I mean, like if you just look at the arc and the metrics, the numbers have never been there. It's actually gone up over time. It used to be lower, uh, but like the way it plays is really, really effective most games. They almost yeah. All I mean, like I, that. I think that the restring guntis in it is like. I mean, obviously the key card. And it's interesting because, like, my deck should be pretty good against it because I have multiple sources of, like, small targeted damage, but, you know, even that's not enough depending on the situation. Yeah, and the seed in there, because, like, a lot of the Guntus decks, when we were, like, researching how effective Guntus are, were based on, like, a rise and stuff. But in this case, it had the seed. And your deck only yeah. had the one answer, which is fairly easily managed in the in the. Uh... Yeah, I mean, I actually knew because of Psychic Bug on one of the turns that he had Nepenthe Seed in the hand, and it's like, well, I could, yeah. I could phase shift and play my um, Nexus right now, but he had um, everything he, he needed on the board yeah. to take it out the next turn anyway. So it's like, well, this, I mean, I can like force him to address it, but that just costs him two amber. It doesn't actually. Fix the Nepenthe C problem. <laughs> yeah. True. Well, George, congratulations. You're in the finals. Thank you very much. Uh you you broke my bracket prediction though. I had I had Bahamut versus Pink Fraud in the finals, and now it is gasoline versus Pink Fraud, but I'm super excited to see that match. As I was just saying, I'm I'm pro gas as far as uh the way the deck works. Like early on, like I I, I said a long time ago I knew it was good, but after like watching it played more, I ended I began to understand some of the nuance and some of the best decks in Keyforge are great because of stuff that doesn't pop out. Because like anyone, like even can Skippy, just... like Skippy is actually a really good combo with. Know, in some oh way. yeah. Well, it's, it's just it's the fact that he has Skippy, Fogify, and Fogbank. It wasn't like without yeah. all three, I don't think any of them are as good. It's just that he can because there's some decks that that he's played against in this event that they they have whole houses that can answer yeah. quite effectively from hand with fight effects 
but because mm-hmm. of anger or relentless or uh, um, but there's even the the sanctity. But yeah, if target. you're if you're not yeah. fogifying or fog banking or skipping, yeah. then you're controlling the weakening to turn it off. So yeah, like it's yep. it's it's all the things. It's the hard control mixed with the subtle control, and it's the subtle control that doesn't pop out. Like even Telega is a decent form of subtle control. Subtle subtle control. Well, Telega is just a great card. Like yeah. oh yeah, she's almost a control the weak by herself. It's you have to. <laughs> Take the play that kills her, or you're just Discard your creature yeah. value. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Either you're gaining amber, or they're discarding creatures, which they may or may not understand how important their creatures on the board are um, because of the Guntus, mm-hmm. yeah. depending on their experience. So, yeah, like I mean, that- I imagine, I imagine that gasoline can have problems with the like racing to a huge warded board, like Worlds Clyde type deck. Yeah. He's like, there's no board wipe, and there's... Go ahead. I haven't actually played against enough worlds collide with it. Um, I do think it will have trouble in general with that. There's just so much more... um, It's so much more creature-oriented, and also fighting and protecting-oriented. Yeah. Which we is, actually talked about that with Fraud, too, because we think Gasoline and Fraud both would have more problems with uh, the, the top tier worlds collide, and even some of the MM we're seeing now that just generate these huge boards every turn. Yeah. Um, so, like, it's yeah. in, but but none of those were in this event. So, obviously, this mm. is more of the old school feel of how it is. It's interesting board. after playing so much like mass mutation and worlds collide and stuff recently, doing this like practically all codex tournament. <laughs> I yeah. think at the start, Dan, how many we we had two worlds collide, one AOA in the event, or something like that. I think just one worlds collide, one AOA. Yeah, that's right. There was right. one worlds collide winner in PAX, and then we took the second place in Krakow, which was AOA. Oh, wow. um, yeah. And both of them were great decks. Um, but let's see, Light Tasker lost the Galaxy to. Oh no, it lost uh, um, to Inferno, Rome, Inferno, which is very similar to Bahamut. And Zeta Drive lost to it went further. It lost to Bahamut. So both of the those right. worlds collides that got knocked out by control deck. So maybe well, actually no, the AOA and the worlds collide decks lost to that. But the AOA deck plays more like the the normal worlds collide deck we see anyway. Else, big board, lots of fighting. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah. Uh, any last comments from Nathan or George about the match or the decks or the future? I, I contemplated holding the twin bolt. Um, I, w- I figured there was probably like a in the second game, I figured there was yeah. probably like a one in three chance given how many cards were left in deck they had Restring Guntis in hand. And it was like a really tough decision. I'm not, I mean, I think I probably made the wrong decision, but I'm still not really sure. I think the call there was at that turn. I think it's the same turn where I was. You had three shadows cards in hand, and you could have returned two of his logos, and he just called logos twice in a row because you'd force one of them. Um, at that point, you would have dumped three of your uh, your shadows cards, and then you'd have had a more diver- diversified hand going forward, and you would have still obviously had twin bolt. Um, I don't. I remember exactly in those terms, but I think that there was a big danger of me locking into like not having much on the board and him taking out my board and then locking me out of Logos and then it's just game over. Like I had a ton of Logos left in my deck in the second game, if we're talking about the same yeah, point the, in time. Yeah, you had a ton of Logos left in the So deck. I didn't have a I really couldn't, um, I think. And I, but I didn't have much shadows left in deck. So I actually thought it was fairly likely he would ban me out of it was, one way or another, it was a tough point in the game. Yeah. And, like, I remember specifically, like, contemplating if I hold Twin Boat, well, which, you know... Yeah, was, game, sure. game three was gas at its highest. Like, that is exactly what it wants to do the whole game. Uh, game yeah. two, there was definitely an inflection point where there's no way to go back and know what the ultimate result would have been. I never but, stood a chance in game three, but it's possible that I salted away game two. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think you did until um, the turn. There was there was like a quite a few turns actually, um, because what I did was control the weak you into logos, then Restriguntus and dis, 
and then control the weak you into logos and then that there was, was a game. few turns yeah that was game three yeah. i think you were still in that game like most of the game because mm-hmm. i wasn't actually going that fast i was trying to set up um either the big library access turn which you knew or like the restoring guntis lock um, well your your one was like, a little go ahead oh, go ahead I was just. I think they. I think I do think that your win was a little bit inevitable in game three after the start, just because like I don't have much of a way to catch up on board with yeah. Bahamut. Like I, I have the big arise, but like even if I got off my big arise, which yeah. like I pretty much had in hand, you know, you, I'm sure you knew like I had something like that. So like even if I pulled that off, though, you still would have been like a fair bit ahead on board and keys, and like outside of that, there's no real way to recover board. Okay. Yeah. With Bahamas. Well, especially with the way gasoline works. Gasoline, you're you're talking about one of the better, like the premier controlly type decks that we have. If you're already up a key, it's you could have reaped out almost and won for the rest of the game just because you have the control tools coming back to you. You're drawing back into your deck. Either of these decks, honestly, like the, uh, Bahamut, Gasoline, and Inferno, which we saw get eliminated um, to fraud. Like any of those decks, if they hit the fact the point where they're redrawing, you're probably already going to lose the game because they're they're going back into their their hot control cards again. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Bahamut doesn't have a board wipe, so like it's it was pretty tough if you're not keeping up on board enough for you to like I don't know make up for it with the arise, yeah. which you wouldn't have quite. Been. Okay, yeah, I, I didn't know about that about your about that deck, so that's fair. Yeah. But game two was was close. <laughs> yeah, game two was real, yeah. real close. It'd be, I'm sure y'all will get a kick at watching that one back. Um, yeah. And, uh, how about you, Dan? Any last comments on the? This is our last match of the semifinals, and we're we'll schedule the live finals against uh, George and Duck at some point once we get a date. Yeah, this is good. I had Zeta Drive going going all the way. My AOA love can't give it up. It, it, Zeta Drive was a great deck, um, but I think Gas beat it, right? This is that was that match. Didn't uh, you eliminate? That was Bahamut. Bah- okay. okay, okay, that's true. Yes, but Zeta Drive was fun to watch. It is definitely one. Of, it makes my my short list of the four the four competitive decks that AOA released. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a really <laughs> interesting deck. I'm Control the Weeks carried the day. No. Yeah, like well, and we we talked about that in every game free game. Any deck that has three control the weeks, including gasoline, since it has like the other kind of control the week type scenarios. There's just certain draws. Yeah. You just win the game, and your opponent's just staring at you like, "I'm um, sorry, dude. This is what's going to happen." <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I, I always appreciate taking a little bit of my own medicine, though. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Yeah. All right. Well, games. Think, yes, that was a great game to watch. I, yeah. I've enjoyed. Almost all of these matches have been fun to watch, so I hope uh, people are enjoying them out there. Cool. All right, all right. I'm going to get going. Um, it's about my bedtime. Uh-huh. I will catch up with you guys for the next round. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll be messaging probably next week to figure out uh, a good time for y'all.